and it's feeding you and I. And it can completely stop doing it if it wants. So that's one thing. But now we just go a little bit deeper. Is that which has created this universe, created this world, doesn't know what's going on, lost its control through the Illuminati or a group of wealthy people who want to vaccinate everyone or do population control or whatever. Now that which created everything doesn't know what to do anymore? No. I, it's beyond that. But maybe it's doing it through those of us that are wanting and being called to that greater intelligence to instigate change, to take care of a planet, to want to provide solutions yeah. that work to clean up. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. that's what I'm saying is, is I'm inspired to clean up, not to just be this superfluous enjoyment of drinks and goods and painting. I, you know, had this huge career as an artist. I don't, I think it's, I'm being called to tend to her, to tend to the earth, that we are that intelligence, that we can tap into that intelligence greater than the families with the money that created the virus, greater than the government, greater. So we're here, we've been embodied, we've awakened, we know the problem and we want to help. And so then that power that is the energy of everything too, just keep meditating on okay, you're showing me this, how, where, where do my efforts go? And I guess that's right. what I'm asking because I have the energy and I just don't know where to plug it in. And then it's like, well, what right. do I go do? Work at a restaurant that I don't believe in anymore? You know what I mean? To yeah. Make money? Right. You know? Well, the, obviously the same source that is doing the distraction, the same source is motivating you and people like you to clean up. As I mentioned, both, both, it's 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 in the phenomena. It's in the duality. So both sides exist. Both forces are here. One is destroying. The other one is rebuilding it. And far out. If you're really inspired to do it, that's fantastic. There's no, there's no nothing wrong with it. It's wonderful. And I'm sure more people who are in this mode will join you or you'll find groups who are like-minded. However, well, let, me, let me just add one thing that I wanted to say earlier and I forgot to say it. Is when the mind goes crazy, my recommendation is as a tool to help you is come back to the watcher sink into this part of yourself that watches and observe observe your thoughts look at your thoughts you mentioned that you know should i turn on the volume or not so you have the ability to look at your thoughts uh, are we on the same page yeah, I have the ability to not think, just to turn it off as well. Oh, that's far out. So you're, you're very advanced. That's really great. So, okay. So when you turn it off and there's no thoughts, can you go there right now? Can you come to this no thoughts place? Yes. Okay. All right. So when you're not thinking and you're in deep silence, is there a problem? No ever okay or can you stay there a little bit well yeah it's like samadhi when i stay there <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah exactly so then where does the problem go where is the problem what happened to the problems we were talking about the attention is taken off them the attention is taken off of them, exactly. So they kind of disappear, don't they? Yeah. Right, they're not there. And then so when I'm you- I'm good at that 
part. Yeah, I'm good at that part. It's then just the impeding, okay, then to get food to put in the vessel so it keeps going. And like you right. said, the gas car, it's those things, right? Well, and to not. Yeah. Here, what I recommend why, why don't we do this for this week? Okay. If you can, for this week, Take your attention off of all these stuff that we were talking about, the things that they, they're, you're, they're concerning you. If you take your attention off of it, if you can just be in this place of quietness inside, turning, and if any thoughts arise that, oh my God, what's going to happen? What am I going to do? And you just kind of observe it. The thought comes, what am I going to do with money? Where am I going to pay my bills? Da, 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 da. Because it is a very valid concern. I, I have that concern too. Okay, I don't want to talk to you from this place like, oh, I don't have any worries about finances. It's always an issue when you're operating something, especially like this, that needs to be fed constantly. Finances is always an issue. And yeah, you have these periods that everything is good. And then you hit these periods that there's nothing's coming in. And you think like, okay, the whole thing is going to collapse. I'm talking about personal experience and being very honest with you here and, and broadcasting it continuously dealing with financial issues of how we're going to continue this endeavor. And there are times like, okay, we're gonna have to close shop because there are two stars, you're gonna have to go do something else because this is not happening. And then it's for me, it's always like I have to pull back and just say, okay, all right, so what else can I do? What can I do to make a living? Or just kind of relax into not knowing, pulling back. Just, all right, do, do whatever you want to do with me. You've been doing whatever you wanted to do. So take me wherever I'm going to go. Well, what do you want me to do now? Open up a coffee shop? Go do some trading, bitcoins? Uh, what do you want me to do? All right, this is not happening. All right, let's see. And then in that surrender, that pulling back is like, ah, oh, there's always like something happens. Something reveals itself. Some door opens up. Somebody shows up and make a donation or something inspires me or some door opens up and the teaching continues, the show continues. It doesn't collapse. I don't know, it's pure magic. I don't know how it just keeps going. I have no idea. But something that I recognize, realize, much, much bigger than my will is running this show. That thing knows what it's doing, and I trust in that. Awesome. Yeah. So my suggestion is this week, if you can, you know, if you are not to engage with life or, you know, you have the ability, uh, possibility, is just kind of like pull back and kind of observe the thoughts, the emotions. They're going to come and sometimes they're overwhelming, but just simply be aware of them, look at them. And then as strong as they appear, they just disappear. They, they come and they go. 